In the previous video, I added Tuan's picture to create his avatar. Now I'm going to show you how to add a bio if you'd like. The bio area is on a page with a lot of HR data, and it's important to check that none of it's missing and that what's there is correct. In the upper right corner of your screen, you'll see a button that will have either your own picture if you followed along and added it during the previous video, or it'll have a gray silhouette. Go ahead and click on that button and it takes you to your profile page. On this page, you should see your name along with your job title and your division. Toward the bottom in the team area, you should also see this sort of family tree box thing where you're in the middle and your manager is in a rectangle above you. Any subordinates you have should be in rectangles below you. If for some reason, any of the data is wrong or missing on this page, such as your job title or your division, or it's showing that you don't have a manager or any of your subordinates are missing, please contact Myra Peralta in HR to let her know. Her email is mperalta at elcamino.edu. It's important that you let Myra know because if the data is missing or wrong here in Cornerstone, that means it's also missing or wrong in HR software. Once you're done double checking your data, you can also add a short bio if you'd like. In Cornerstone, they call it your summary, and it's basically just a short about me section where people can click on your profile and learn a little bit about you. To add your bio, just click on the pencil icon to the right of the summary area. I have Tuan's bio already saved to my clipboard, so I'm going to make sure my cursor is flashing inside the editing area. Then I'm going to paste in the text by pressing Control V. I'll click the Save button, and now Tuan's bio is saved in Cornerstone.